I'm, I'm like super excited. So have you guys read the graphic novel? Did you guys read it before you guys decided to take on the show? And like, what were some of your thoughts on your character in the graphic novel and the character that you guys got to play? I personally, I read the first one during my audition process. Same. And then I read the other um, five after I had booked it. And my immediate thoughts on the comic were, wow, this is something I have to be a part of. Like, even from reading the, like, storyline when I had received the audition, I was like, this is going to be something. Mm -hmm. And that immediately drew me to it. And then as I read the comics, I felt such a close... Um, I, but, yeah, connection. Thank you. That's <laughs> I felt such a connection with all of the characters. Like I, I could relate to each of them in more than one way, or just one. But I would, I could even root for the bad guys if I wanted to. <laughs> like the representation and the diversity in this was very appealing to me, and I just love this project. For me, I, I'm a newcomer to the graphic novel and comic book world. So Paper Girls is really my introduction to all of it, and it's a brilliant one at yeah, that. Yeah, awesome welcome. So, thank welcome. you, thank you. I'm loving it so far. Um, much like Cameron, during the initial auditioning, uh, after the first audition, we called in, at least I was called in for a lecture session, and then a chemistry read. So I bought one of, I bought the first book, read it all in one night, fell in love with it. And there was another part of your question that I think I'm forgetting about. What were the differences between your character in the graphic novel and the character okay. that you wound up playing? So I kind of like to think of, I kind of like to separate both my interpretation and the Mac and the comic book series, just because the Mac and the comic book series, oh man, I, I love her so much, and I, I really wanted to do her justice, and I think how I decided to do that was by sort of creating my own interpretation of her. So I, I hope that those can sort of be preserved fairly independently of one another. Um, but I absolutely love the comic book Mac. She's, she's my heroine. Yeah. <laughs> can we just rewind and you introduce your characters for the cameras as well? Absolutely. Please. And should we look anywhere specifically? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. We're not here, just, just say your character. Okay, great, great, great. All right. My name is Sophia Rosinski, and I play Mac in Amazon's Paper Girls. Hey, I'm Cameron Jones, and I play Tiffany in Prime Video's Paper Girls. <laughs> who, who are Mac and Tiffany? Who are they? Uh, Mac. Voice crack. Oh, Mac, is, <laughs> Mac is, she's this guarded, foul-mouthed, uh, jagged little street tough. <laughs> she's come from a rough household and she's a really tough nut to crack, but she has a heart of gold and she's really a far more complex creature than she lets on. Tiff is this encyclopedic, curious fireball. I would say because she always wants to learn more and know more, but she's also very protective over the people that she loves. She's kind of lonely at the beginning of the series. She's a hard child, her parents work a lot, but letting these girls in really allows her to fill that hole, and that's partially why she's so protective over them, because these are the first friends she's had in a while, because technology is the key. So. That's why she loves these guys. <laughs> um, so much wild stuff happens, you know, robots, dinosaurs, and um, someone, was there anything in particular that really took you by, by surprise, you know, really, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is in the show. Oh, what do I say without spoiling it? <laughs> There's one big thing, I guess that, that would be my hint, is that it's, it's a big thing that we were very shocked and excited about, yeah. and You'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know, seen you've it, seen it, I but um, I guess <laughs> listeners will know what, what we're talking about. Now, just like Sophia said, it, that really big thing is a really big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like? You guys are young. We are all adults. <laughs> so what was it like to like live like... You know, you guys, you guys don't know the '80s, but you guys played roles in the '80s. Like, it was like they kind of like lived through that, and like to, you know, just like pretend like, oh, it's like nice to do something, and you know, like what type of homework did you do? Did you like talk to like your mom or an aunt or something, and be like, what was going on during this time? The yellow wolf man. 
I love that Walkman. <laughs> well, Cameron, do you want to? Sure. I mean, I talked to my parents because they were alive during the 80s. <laughs> and um, I researched the music and movies and like media from Tiff's perspective. So I would try to think of things that I thought she would like. So like Mary Gordy's The Last Dragon, Come to America, When Doves Cry by Prince, like Cindy Lauper. Like I would try to think from Tiff's perspective to try to get into her. And then obviously I would read the comic books because they were written by people who were like the 80s. And I mean, you can't get better than the source material. So. <laughs> And for me, I, I grew up around a lot of 80s influence, so it was kind of, it was a pretty smooth transition for me. Of course, I liked to like Cameron, I listened to some music I think Mac might listen to, and just actually being dropped, well not actually being dropped into it, but being dropped into... Low key, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Um, having the opportunity to actually ride around on the streets in 1988 was really fascinating and and I think another important thing is that people are always have always been the same and just understanding who the character is rather than just looking at them as oh look at what they're wearing or what kind of haircut they have you know really understanding who they are of course time influenced people but nonetheless unique as who they are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Sorry, Rambles. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.